So what do you think we have here? The name of this company is Pro Chef Kitchen Tools. And they're at ProChefKitchenTools.com. So my first order was, was this one. And there were some problems with this set here. I love them both in their own ways, but um, there's a little bit of issues that needs to be addressed. They're not big deals. Still fully functional, but so this, what is this? This is a an herb set. A, let me see what they're calling it. Storage tins. So you can put like your red peppers in it and then it's going to stick. Awesome idea. You don't want it up. You can lay it flat, put it in the cabinet. So with this first set, for the life of me, I could not get them open and I have, I'm having a really hard time getting them closed. Now that being said, that's probably a really good thing because you know your spices are not going to be falling out. So it just takes a little bit of working and then it's good. And then what you would do is you twist it and then you get a large hole. And then you have four little like salt shaker holes. Um, you can just let one peek out, two peek out, three peek out, or all four. So, I was online and I was looking at the reviews and people were complaining about how hard they are to open and close. And they really are. But, my hope is that, that they'll get easier. Like, compared to when I first took this out of the box, I couldn't get these suckers to budge. But now... Look at that. That's almost all the way off already. But it's that last step, this killer. So they are really hard to get open. And closed. Once they're on, the turning, not so bad. And again, I think that if you want, you could put a little bit of coconut oil on the track here, right around the edge. And I'm thinking that would give you a better, um, an ease of sliding back and forth. Coconut oil is not going to hurt stainless steel. So, I think that's what I'll do. So, I contacted the company and I told them that I found some problems. So, where is my problem child here? Because that light, that light is so bright. It's so hard for me to see. It's terrible. I'm blind from it. I think, is that it? God, no. Oh, I found it. This one, it has a little crimp that's not crimped all the way. Um, it's not a huge deal because it's still sealed inside. And I think... That with a, I have some jewelry making tools. I could probably try to bend that in. So, but really, cosmetically, the only reason I really noticed it is because reviewing is my life. It's my business. I take things apart, I check them out, and I tell you whether or not it's worth the money or not. So... These little things not being able to open easy, um, I think that will get better. And once you get it open, the first thing you need to do is take it all apart and clean it. Because when they're cutting these on the machine, I think they use a kind of an oil base to keep the blade from getting too hot and it keeps the blade sharp. So I think their quality control or a part of the process should be to clean that but 
the smell of the petroleum based um, whatever is used was really strong so number one would be take it apart clean it with soapy water be careful on like I wouldn't soak these tops because you don't want any water to get under the glass so I would just be kind of careful about that like I wouldn't have them sitting in the sink soaking because I don't know if water can get under them um, my other problem with this is that this edge is super sharp so one thing that we should do is it's like a sanding process they could have just sanded this edge or one and of course it would probably cost them a lot of money to make this part of the process once they paid the big cost then it would be over but um, either this could be sanded by their company or it could be crimped down so that it's not sitting up because listen that's really sharp that being said most of us aren't going to be manhealing these but for me this is my life I would get cut on this so I'm really sorry for picking it apart so that's set number one I talked to them and they sent me another one and uh, I had a code when I went to get the same one I got the code didn't work so I was like ah, for shits and giggles I'll try the number five one and it worked on the, this five one so since the um, the refundy code that they sent me didn't work on the six one and it worked on the five I got the five now I like this one so much better it seems like this assembly line um, is more on top of things the um, the containers were really pretty much easy to open and I did find one little problem nothing major again it is only because this is my life and my job um, this is plastic see-through plastic and you can see there's just one something melted into the plastic uh, there's no lump it's in there it's like encased it's not going to cause a problem and the average human would probably not even see it so these the lids went on see that went on like so easy people were complaining about these magnets being shoddy these magnets are not shoddy they are some seriously good magnets like if they were crappy I would tell you I'd be like whoo this is not gonna hold they're gonna fall like this lid is a little bit loose and people were complaining that the lids were falling off but even though this one is really easy to get off there's any way that this lid is going to fall off unless you throw it at somebody hopefully you're not throwing it at anybody I actually like it better like this it moves so smoothly it's not going to be a pain in the butt to use I would say if you get one that is a little bit tight I would just give it a little squeeze in your hands Yeah, a little squeeze is going to help it to get tightened. You're probably thinking to yourself, I shouldn't have to do that. And you're right. You shouldn't. But if you have to, you can. Or you can contact the company. So, out of five, uh, there's only one that the lid is just a little bit loose. I'm not a professional, but I think this looks like a tool and die kind of thing. I think it's die cut. And, uh, oh, yeah, that actually worked. All I did was take it, 
and I'm not like squeezing the heck out of it to where it's gonna um, misshapen it but just enough so that it gives it a little bit of hold yeah so much better and there we go now another thing that people were complaining about online was that the um, spices were just falling out so I thought poppy seeds okay we'll give it a whirl poppy seeds are little tiny beads I mean they are really really tiny beads and they are packed in there man I don't want to unpack them so they all fall in because this whole jar is not going to fit in there poppy seeds I love lemon poppy seed bread and um, also almond bread with poppy seeds um, I'm not a hundred percent sure no that's not true I am sure I know that these may show up in a drug test as a drug so you do have to be leery of poppy seeds um, just in case you work at a job and they're gonna drug test you on a regular basis um, when I used to work at a plant I would just tell them hey I'm a baker and uh, poppy seeds so just in case you know if my pea comes back wonky you can send it off to Oshkosh and uh, they can verify that it's just poppy seeds so let me see let me make sure that the um, you know what I mean like I don't have the hole that's I would say that if you know what poppy seeds are they are like the ultimate tiny little pearls the one I saw a review that the person was saying that the it um, their spices were falling out the only way their spices were falling out is if it was open some and they didn't have the hole sealed you saw I wasn't babying it at all so now I'm going to try some hot peppers that's a bigger thing but I really thought well um, poppy seeds you know they are tiny I thought about putting cinnamon there but um, I don't have any extra I have a cinnamon sugar um, shaker that we use so I thought oh I'll put cinnamon in there but then uh, I only had my cinnamon sugar that we use for our um, toast I'm hot blooded check it and see Yeah, like if you have songs in your videos that aren't your, oh, I pinched myself, that aren't, aren't yours, um, copyrighted by a group or something, sometimes your video won't be able to be uploaded. It'll be um, marked as a no-go. So I always try, I try to remember, oh God, it's open. Here I'm telling you, their trap door must have been open. Look at mine. I'm shaking it and it's all over me hot pepper hope my dog doesn't get any there is this bright light coming out of my camera so that you can get a nice HD picture um, that's why you're viewing it at such a really nice HD quality but that light is so bright that it's really hard to see I mean I'm manhandling it and that lid's not coming off and these are the lids that are a little bit looser I'm gonna have to vacuum now because well my pant leg is full of red peppers 
I'm going to have to get my son to um, get me the little vacuum so I don't stand up. And then the dog will be like, mim, mim. holy crap. Anyway, I know, I digress. So, this would be the five pin um, spice rack. One thing that I thought that would be really cool, and I didn't look to see if they had it, but you know how they have those knife bars that are they're magnetic, and then you just stick the blade on the, the magnet bar on your wall? I don't know if they have that, but that would be cool, because then nothing's on your counter. So, besides these little glitchy things with this set here, the biggest one would be this here. You just have to be careful. I like that here you are. Oh, the hot pepper is now in my nose. I can feel it. I can feel it. Shh, don't say. So, here you are. You're cooking. It's on the counter. Oh, my nose is hot. <laughs> Only me. You're done cooking. Your nose is burning because the hot peppers have floated up to your nose. And what do you, you just want to put this away? You just fold it down, put it in the cabinet. I like that because that's a pretty flat profile. I like that. I would imagine if you want it, you could stack them. Let's say you had a cabinet space. You could always just stack and put that in, and then you can put other stuff here. You know, if you're like a cabinet hoarder space girl like me, I uh, I always work different things out so I get the most stuff stuffed into my cabinet. I'm eating marshmallows now. I was eating them before I made the video. So, these are magnetic storage bins. They are made by Pro Chef, and the customer service for this business, I would call them top notch because whoever, I don't remember the name of the person, but he got right back to me and told me right away, um, gave me a code and said, um, go and repurchase yours because they don't have um, replacement parts, I think he said. So, that, to me, I mean, he got right back to me. So, I got this one day, saw the problem doing the video, emailed them, same night, purchased, purchased another one. So, their staff is on vacation. They won't be back until January 1st, I think he said. Um, which is also, I know I shouldn't be eating these marshmallows, but I love them. I'll eat them. No, don't touch my marshmallows. It's nice that their staff is on vacation. I mean, that's really awesome. Anyway, when the staff comes back, um, I'll let you know any outcome from that. If they're like, get off my lawn, send me back that sixer. I'll be like, hello. <laughs> In other words, whatever goes, I will come back and I'll update and let you know. But in my opinion, the customer service person that I dealt with was awesome. And nowadays, customer service is just as important as the product itself. You can have an awesome product and a shoddy customer service and nobody's going to want your pro product. And you could have a good product and fantastic customer service. Because of the customer service I've already had, I would go back there. I wouldn't have a problem with it. I'm actually going to tell them you know, as a reviewer, a little, I don't know, some advice maybe. Um, man, if you only knew how much that 
red pepper somehow has gotten into my nose. Um, so what, right? So I will put their URL for these two products down underneath the video. And then on top of that, I will also put their storefront URL so that you could go shopping through the store. I did look at the store um, not too long ago and I really liked a lot of stuff in there. So that's why I'm like, I'm going to put their storefront link because I, I really did like some of the stuff they had in there. So please push that red button down there. It might be here. It might be here. Sometimes when I make a video, it comes out backwards. So, that would mean that it's over here. But if it's not backwards, then that subscribe button's over here. I know, right? I don't know. I used to not ask you to please subscribe because I didn't think of it. But every time I watch a YouTube channel, a, a video, they're like, hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So I'm like, that's what I'm doing wrong. I get a lot of views, but I don't have a lot of subscribers. So now I'm going to start being like, hey, would you please subscribe to my YouTube channel? Thank you. And if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can give it a thumbs down too. I'll take it either way. If you give it a thumbs down, you should probably tell me why. Because then I can fix it. You know? Like if you're like, thumbs down. Like, Diane, you just talk too much. You ramble on and on and on and on. Stop. Show us the product and shut up, Diane. All right. I can't. I can't help myself. I don't know why. It's a problem. I like to talk. Yeah. I do. See, my son's like, yes. And these marshmallows, they are so soft. Okay, so this video is over. But is it? Do you ever remember as a kid taking marshmallows and just squeezing them and turning them into like a gooey, yummy, mushy, marshmallow, yummy mess? Oh my god. I still do that, and I'm 53. But, I would say that I am a mentally very young 53. Like, my body knows it's 53, but my brain does not. Yeah. So anyway, I love that. That's really good. So let's get back to um, these guys. Let's get back to bedtime. It is bedtime, isn't it? Great profile for your counter. It's not going to take up a lot of space. Nice storage. Put it in the cabinet. You could even put it sideways in the cabinet because those magnets are going to hold those suckers on here. So you could like slide it inside whatever room you have. You could put it on top of some stuff. You can put it under stuff. So I like this profile because this you can store. This you really can't. This is going to live on your counter. So it's up to you. But uh, I would look too. They may have that strip for the wall. And then you just stick them suckers up there. That would be awesome. You want a marshmallow? Yes. Not you. <laughs> I got excited there. Nope. Ooh. So there we go. I hope you have a nice weekend. Weekend's coming soon. I don't think that's how it works with YouTube. Hey, you never know. It could be Friday yeah, everywhere. Or, or the wall up there. There's a 
diamondy glow going on from the plastic glass and reflection. So here you go. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. I'm gonna gonna ruin my thing where they're gonna say one, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. One, two, three, one, two, three, drink. A poor back. I guess so. Okay, again, I will put their links down below and their store link too. And we'll see you soon. He's only here for my marshmallows. Stay away from my marshmallows. Here, take them and hide them from him. Hide the marshmallows from him. <laughs>